Good evening, I'm Gina Quattrochi. Yeah, and I'm Jeff Smith. Thanks for joining us. The northbound I-65 bridge across the Wildcat Creek in Tippecanoe County sank nine inches and a dip can be now seen in that road. Crews are currently testing what they hope is the solution to the problem. News 18's Kelly Roberts reports what the fix may be. It's a view not often seen. On the banks of the Wildcat Creek, crews are set up underneath the closed I-65 northbound bridge. Standing underneath or above the bridge, if you look closely, you can see the damage. You can see the dip. Since the beginning of the month, the bridge has been closed. Crews are currently testing what may fix the bridge. After geotechnical experts tested the soil around the bridge earlier this month, something called a micropile was suggested. Actually, they're installing steel casings. They have a special machine that drills, you know, far deep into the ground, and they're going to uh, put in grout, high strength, st small diameter uh, micropiles through the footers of the existing pier. Nicholson Construction Company of Kalamazoo, Michigan, specializes in micropiles and has installed them across the country. Nicholson crews are now in Tippecanoe County. INDOT spokeswoman Debbie Calder says the hope is the micropiles will fix the bridge. Crews will test how the micropiles distribute the load to the adjacent soil. So that testing is continuing to make sure that, that we have the right plan in place. That this is going to be what works to get this bridge repaired and reopen as quickly and safely as possible. Calder says the bridge should still reopen by mid-September, even though a hard date has not been set. In Tippecanoe County, Kelly Roberts, News 18.